Now we are going to cover few more keywords and statements which may control the execution of a loop. So far we have covered the for while and do while loop and in all these three loops we have seen like there is a condition and as soon as the condition is false we terminate the loop. But if apart from that you want to do some manipulations in the execution of a loop you can go for the loop control statements such as break and continue. You have already seen the usage of break keyword in the switch where after each case and default we have applied this break keyword in order to terminate the switch statement. Very similarly we will be using this break keyword to terminate the loops as well. As this is the condition when this condition is false the loop will get terminated but apart from that if any time during the execution of the loop if there is a break statement that get executed it will also terminate the execution of a loop whether the condition is still true or false. Maybe the break would be having its own condition that you can pass inside the loop. So this break either will terminate the switch statement which we have already seen and it can also terminate the loops now which we'll, we'll see in this execution. But before that let's talk about continue as well. As break terminates the execution of a loop while continue only skips a particular cycle means this is the loop which is getting continuously executed but meanwhile if there is any continuous statement is there it will skip the execution of all the conditional code of that loop. So let's see practically how can we uh, implement the break and continue statements. So in this program I have written a for loop which is starting from 1 and will run till 10. So if I will execute this particular loop obviously I will get the numbers printed from 1 to 10. So let's check it out first. So here in the browser I will open this particular file and you can see alright 1 to 10 let me do the line break as well along with that so br along with this alright let's refresh alright so this is my desired output but if I will introduce any loop control statement in that so obviously the output will be differ so let's execute that and here I will pass a condition like if i is equal equal to 5 then I will say break alright so here as I discussed what this break statement will do it will terminate the loop so when I will become 5 the loop will be terminated and obviously the execution will be stopped out there itself so if I will execute you see even though I have written the loop from 1 to 10 but since I have introduced the break statement when I was equal to 5 this particular uh, output is looking like this means it will just running for 4 time 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is about the break and the similar thing it was doing at the time we introduced this break statement in this switch where when any of the case was satisfied the execution was terminated because of this break statement and none of the case was checked inside that switch again. But if apart from this break I will introduce a continue statement so what this will do it will just skip the cycle means I am running this loop from 1 to 10 so if I will say i is equal to 5 then continue so that means this loop means this particular statement will be skipped when i was equal to 5 so this is how the output will look like so as you can see 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 5 got skipped similarly if you will add multiple conditions out here like i is equal to 7 so 7 is also skipped so this is how you can use the break and continue statement in order to control the execution of any loops that we have covered that is for while and do while.